Hey y'all, this is the new Night Forge studio and I want to say a big thank you to everyone who got us here into this spot. It's been six months. Um, we're back in the game, making stuff, totally not finished, swatting wasps out of the air, backhanded. So we're in East Tennessee. This is one of the most beautiful places in uh, the country to me. I've lived a lot of places. I've traveled all over the United States. East Tennessee is the spot for me, man. So we are here at the new Night Forge studio, and uh, we're not too far from Bristol, Tennessee. We're not too far from North Carolina, and uh, this is where all the stuff is gonna happen. This is where all the magic will be happening. Let's go have a look. So this is the forge area right here. We are running the Anyang 108 in the Coal Iron Works, uh, 26 ton press with CNC controlled. We have house made forge over here and a chili here. The house maids are new. And some things, these are the things that survived. So this is survived, survived, cleaned up, really good stuff. My Miller welder survived. This is Tristan Knight. He's working on a hibaki. Some of Tristan's work. Anvil, 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 dog. There's a dog, that's Daisy. She likes to eat dead stuff. Let's go this way. A lot of it, we're just still organizing right now. We're still in the process of organizing the shop. We're gonna turn this into the Boba Fett bike. Uh, one of the coolest things we got here, a big stainless steel sink. I want to talk about this for a minute because this is kind of cool. It's not too difficult to get this. And if you get one, and this is important, you don't have to use your mom's kitchen sink to wash your Damascus and stuff off. Just saying, I'm just saying. Um, this is the corner where some garbage is that we haven't organized yet. This is Tristan's area. And then there's a lot of mess over here, but we can go look at it anyway. So in our shop, we have two Amera braids. That's one of them. I have another one at Tiger Lily's. This is a random bunch of mess right here, which still is not cleaned up. So it's always fun to see that I have a mess in my shop, and uh, but I'm getting better at it. I do have a hot water here. That's what's important. Our abrasives are sponsored by Combat Abrasives. They're all made in the United States now, which I like a lot. <clears throat> this is probably the coolest thing. So this is this we're working on, okay? That's a, that's a disaster right now. But this, this is probably the coolest uh, drill press that I've ever seen. So that's on. Let's see, we're running at 500 RPMs. This thing will go all the way up. I'm pretty sure if we go enough, we may, Elon Musk might show up through a portal. That thing's 3,000 RPM down to, I think 150, it's pretty cool. I like that a lot, that's a nice piece. This is a new saw, I go through these things all the time. Survive the shop, new belt cabinet. Now this is a part that is, is really nice. D-Burr, Mr. D-Burr, super handy. We'll go into the completely sealed grinding shop that no one completely seals. But the idea is you seal it and then you don't get dust everywhere in the shop. But so far we don't we don't usually close the doors. Let's go on in. So we have the dust collection system that goes to each grinder. This one just got installed, it's not hooked up yet. I'll put the other Amer braid here. Grinding tool rack. New band saw. This thing is wonderful. Run it faster. Let me see something like this. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, that's cool. So this was a knife we did in a class. This was Brandon's knife. 
and he's just finishing it up now. It looks really nice. This stuff, you can push it harder too if you want to. There you go. Wilmot, Wilmot. I've actually got two more Wilmots. So we got four Wilmots and four Marabraves. Nice to have grinders. The dust collection system's the best. It really sucks. Yeah. See how it works, Brandon? When you cut it on, it really works. <laughs> My shirt into it. Yeah. I suck my shirt. It's a good time to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have. So these are dumb. One dumb thing that I have. These are plastic, but I have bought steel hose to replace those. So that's the grinding room. Now this is another important thing I want to talk about. <laughs> if you are a maker who consistently quenches in PVC pipes or plastic buckets, you're stupid. I might even like you, but I just want to tell you, you're stupid. Don't do that. You're smarter than that. Get a steel quench tank that has enough volume. Square tubing, this thing is, uh, what is that? That's six inches by six inches. I have six gallons of quench in this thing, right? So there's enough volume to quench in. It won't overflow, won't bubble over. I won't catch it on fire. Everything's gonna be fine. It won't melt either. So if you're quenching in plastic buckets, PVC pipes, eventually you're gonna have a disaster and I don't want you to have that. So stop being stupid and get one. And yes, I said stupid. So if your little kids are offended by that, don't let little kids watch. Stupid is a serious word. Uh, gin can kiln. Right now, actually, we will do a quench because I got a blade in here. So let me find my rag. I got a rag right here. All right. I got a big dagger blade I'm working on. We're gonna pull this thing straight out and go straight in. There we go. Dagger. A big one. I think that one is 13 inches by two and a half inches wide. So this will be a fun piece for blade show. Gosh, it smells awesome. What a wonderful smell. So that's gonna be a fun piece. This one I have forged to shape, ground the profile, and then I'm gonna go back and do all the other grinding in it. Pretty rough now, but when you see the end piece, it'll be beautiful. All right, now, this is the coolest part, literally. This is the heated and cooled side of the shop. This is my, I'm gonna call it my little clean room. This is my clean room. Sanding bench, workbench, where I can sit in here and uh, be away from everybody else and work on stuff, which I'm working on. All kind of things, kitchen knives, chef's knives. This was the dark saber, it's finally finished. You guys didn't get a chance to see this thing. Cut the camera in half. This one. That's, yep. So this is where I'll be doing all that stuff. We'll go this way. This is gonna be the kind of team room. I'm working on a kitchen right here. So we have some cabinets, uh, a couch, a chill out spot, maybe a futon or something so you can sleep. A refrigerator. Uh, what we like to have in our refrigerator is water and soda pop. All right, bathroom. This is, I'm the most impressed with this bathroom. All this work was done by my friend Mike, and um, I just want you to check that shower out. It's beautiful. Who's got a shower in their bathroom like this, in their shop? Like, I don't have this in my house. So why not have it in the shop? Uh, I didn't get the gold-plated toilet. I wasn't ready for that, you know? I didn't think it was appropriate, but maybe, maybe one day. So this is the shop bathroom. But also this is where people, I have them come and teach. They're from somewhere else. You can stay in here and this makes it pretty wonderful. 
Not quite done, but so close. All right, hey y'all, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who supported us through all of the mishaps, the misadventures, and now we are here in a new location. Also, if you wanna see some more detailed stuff, go to our Patreon, that's still growing. We're still putting new stuff over there. And this video will be launching to you from YouTube, We're reviving the YouTube channel. And I like to see you guys over there and commenting and being a part of this. Join the Patreon, be a part of the Golden Kukri, and that's where you need to be. All right, thanks, and stay tuned for more adventures, misadventures, blade making, knife stuff, and all the things that you'd like to see on here. Thank you.